Welcome back everyone. This is Ram from Crossmind Studio and welcome to my new workshop and this is going to be about designing show titles for TV and or web shows. So during this workshop, I will take you through the design process and 3D production process of the example title which is designed for this workshop, which you've seen in the trailer just now. So designing titles for show is a vast topic to discuss and learn and master. So there are many ways to approach show titles. I'm sure while binge watching your favorite shows or programs, you might have noticed a variety of title sequences. Some are short and just about the logo reveal and curtain raises, while some other episodic series have very detailed cinematics and where more narratives are embedded into the visual concepts. But that is not everything about it. While more and more popular titles are releasing these days, we see a variety of mediums being explored in the show titles and experimented with. So what are show titles? A title sequence, also called an opening sequence or intro, is the method by which film or television programs present their title and key production and cast members, utilizing conceptual visuals and sound, often an opening theme or song with visual. It typically includes the text of the opening credits and helps establish the setting and tone of the TV program. It may consist live action, animation, music, still images, and some graphic visuals. So these days we are watching plenty of TV programs and shows. So some of these are episodic TV series, drama, sports, history, news, different segments on the channels, sports craft for kids, some cooking shows. So, so there are plenty of uh, things going on on the TV and the entertainment section. And all of these programs have very unique treatment for their show titles. For instance, Stranger Things nostalgic vibes takes us straight back to the 80s just with the treatment of the light and the music and Game of Thrones opening titles have this dramatic aerial view of the Seven Kingdoms. Westworld's opening theme leaves us intrigued and puzzled about who is in control and you start questioning subconsciously before the plot is even introduced. On the other hand, there are TV and web shows with simpler titles like Ancient Secrets from uh, the National Geographics, TEDx show openers on the web and there are several sports shows, music, talent, UFC or maybe a uh, craft for the kids. So every show have their own way of presenting their idea in the titles so that when you're connecting back to the show after a week or days or hours, you straight get into that vibe and connect back to that show with just the ident or the titles. So shows with the narrative structures have more about the story and theme embedded into the titles and usually run for the longer duration as compared to the TV programs and segments which lack the narrative structure and usually open with the title which include the logo and supporting graphics. However, there is no such written rule about the treatment and it completely depends on the idea and content you are going to present behind the titles. So in fact, you might have noticed that some of the educational series on Maya channel itself have some intro and opening titles such as Geometry Node series, Mantoflow series, RBD series. It's inviting, it engages the audience. It promises something and immerses you back into the show. So the workshop is going to be about three chapters. One, the first one is the ideation. Second one is going to be visualization and third is the production. So I'm going to keep this workshop pretty short. In the first chapter, in the ideation part, we will work with the design brief and take any information that we have from the design brief and map it on a visual board and make a plan of action to kickstart the project. This usually helps overcome the blank canvas syndrome. So you're not really thinking on a blank paper. You, you slowly start to build up and, uh, and the board starts to kind of inspire your ideas. So this usually helps. We will extract the information from the design brief, brainstorm the idea, prepare a few ideas for the titles, storyboard and work on a mood board, color palette, and prepare a final concept sketch, just good enough to communicate the idea which we will later on detail and refine in 3D anyway. At the end of the chapter, we are going to prepare a list of essential things and assets that we need from the concept sketch and we'll start collecting and gathering all the resources that we need. This could be models, textures, shaders, maybe plugins before the production starts. In the second chapter, the visualization, we will take our concept sketch and uh, all the resources that we had gathered and transform that visual into 3D with the help of Blender 3D kit bashing 3D models and iterating and exploring frames until we arrive at an end frame visual which does justice to the concept that we have in mind. This end frame will guide us for the look development for, for the rest of the sequence. So everything in this frame has to be final 
nothing should be left for the later stage because this end frame will decide the color, the look and feel and everything that needs to be there be it lighting, effects, colors, assets. So by the end of this chapter visualization we will have one still frame which is going to guide the rest of the shots from the storyboard. In the third chapter, the production part, we will take the end frame and with the help of lights and the camera, we will start reframing visuals for each panel of the storyboard that we have. If the need arrives, we will tweak the lights, we will tweak the camera angles and maybe move few assets around and compose every frame in the best way possible and complete all the rendered stills with the final lighting and camera angles and effects and everything. So post that, I will give you a breakdown of the animation of the each shot and the thoughts behind it. What were the kind of animations I had in mind? How, however simple these animations are, there were still few back and forth I had to do before uh, getting things right. And these were a few simulations, smoke and fire and rigid, rigid body simulations and few mechanical animations. So these are pretty simple in itself. Uh, there's not nothing much going on. However, there is a lot in the edit and we, we will talk about the, the edit with the music and everything. The, so the final chapter is going to be all about the breakdown of the entire sequence, its animation, its rendering and the edit and the music. After that, we are going to just conclude the series with some end note. Now, most of the audience on this channel loves learning Blender and I'm sure at some point while, wa while watching this workshop, few of you might be interested in seeing step-by-step -step instructions, but keep in mind that this workshop is not going to be about learning 3D or Blender. Instead, the focus of this short workshop is going to be to share the design process and share a few standard practices which will help you understand some of the practices of real-world examples and the projects in the industry that I've done in the past. So pardon me if I don't mention the short commands of the software or baby step the way in. I'm sure I can trust you with all those small details. And if you have already seen the, some of the previous series from this channel, such as introduction to Blender 3D or CGI for the product advertisement and Manta Flow and R RBD simulation series introduction. So then this should be easy for you to follow along and so watch it from a different point of view, a different perspective and I'm sure you will enjoy the learning process. Think of it like you're not learning just Blender, Blender 3D. There are few much bigger challenges and uh, so this time take this challenge from point of view of learning critical thinking instead of learning a software. It's a bit of a leap and uh, I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy the learning. So to begin with the series, all you need is some paper or pencil or pen or anything you are comfortable with. It could be iPad. So just grab anything to doodle some ideas and brainstorm with and then grab the latest version of the Blender from the blender.org or if you're comfortable with Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Maya, Houdini, that is completely fine as well because this workshop is not really limited to the, the software. So just feel free to explore any other softwares and uh, you need some 2D program to basically use for the storyboard or to draw some concept sketch. So even though this is going to be a pretty simple sketch, uh, just good enough to communicate with yourself or with your sh small team if you have around you. So in my case, I'm using Photoshop, but uh, there are a few alternatives. If you'd like, you can try out Krita or Procreate or uh, Affinity. There is a, there, there are plenty of programs. All you need is something which you can draw with digitally, or if you prefer, you can even try out on paper storyboarding and then we will be making plenty of visual boards for planning and design sessions and organizing our project using Millenote. So sign up for millenote.com for free for limited use where we will be sharing all the visual boards from the project. Link is in the description and the last thing subscribe to this channel for the future projects and the workshops and also head to www.crossmind.com and go to the workshop menu and bookmark this for the future updates. There are going to be a few more workshops listed here. So I'm just trying to uh, keep all the workshops listed here. So this is much better view than having random videos scattered on the channel. So anyways, so in no way I can cover the depth of this topic in this one small workshop. The more you're going to study about this, the more you will realize that the ways you can experiment with it, the number of mediums you can use with it. And there is so much creative freedom in, in designing titles because you are not really bound to the style of the show or the film you are dealing with. It could have its own different medium and completely different style. So that's the most fun part of designing title. Within that short duration, you have to give it all and 
make it impactful. It should have lasting impression. I personally love working on the items and the intros, etc. And I'm pretty sure you might have figured that out already from this channel. So anyways, so it's a very big topic to begin with. However, this workshop will be done with a simple, simpler example, which is easy to follow. The goal here is to get used to few of the pre-production practices, which are quite standard, especially when designing short titles for um, TV programs, which are not really episodic, like without a narrative structure. So later on, if you decide uh, to explore this topic further and you can just chase this topic to your heart's content, there is no end to it. There is no limit to it. The design brief, which is made for this workshop project is actually based on real client projects, which I, which I have done in the past. So any practices which will be mentioned in this workshop are from my actual professional daily routine and workflow while dealing with the commercial projects. It's a, this is the standard process I deal with the project with. Anyone interested in the bonus stuff will have an option to get all the resources of this workshop from my Gumroad page for which you can find the link in the description. So this will include all the final files for the entire sequence, all the shots, the animations, the lighting, FX camera and render setups, all that will be there in the files. But keep in mind any third party models which I've used in the projects are trimmed out and not really full models. Uh, only parts which are visible and uh, are part of the final shots are there. So full models are not really part of the scene. And the reason behind this is to optimize the final renders. And also if you want to acquire the original assets, uh, the Sketchfab, ArtStation and Gumroad links will be provided in the boards where you can actually find the original artist and buy the assets from there originally in the full original condition and support their work. And also a few of the smoke and muzzle simulations and the VDBs which I've used in this project. So in case if you really want to uh, just quickly drag and drop sim some VDB simulations like muzzle flashes or the, the ground smoke etc. So these will be uh, the part of the pack as well. And uh, all the visual boards from the workshops including uh, the brainstorming session, storyboard, concept sketch, mood board, style frames etc. So all these boards will be uh, available for you to access as well and all the sales will be great support for our channel and will enable us to produce more educational content in the future. So I'm currently cleaning up the files and uploading on the Gumroad product page. So it will take some time before you actually um, before the download actually appears on if you buy the product uh, right away. So to make up for the time, anyone getting these files early will get some discount on the price. <laughs> One final note, which is really important, and that is going to be anything you see during this workshop or any link or asset, which is suggested as a resource before downloading anything, please read their terms and license informations for everything, even if it's available for free or under creative commons. And if you do download anything under Creative Commons, do credit the artist, which will help their work gain more audience and recognition. So few of the interesting things you can do while I'm preparing the first chapter, go back to your favorite show and watch the titles again. And this time pay more attention to the details and question what you like about it and do some research about the titles and the design of the title and what went behind making that sequence. There is one interesting website, which is uh, www.artofthetitle.com. It's a wonderful blog filled with so much treasure and uh, all the interviews and behind the scenes of some award winning title sequences are there. So read them, check out behind the scenes of some of the favorite show titles. What were the thoughts, the early storyboards, the design process, everything is there, how they arrived at these ideas and what was used in the production and what were the challenges they faced. And there's also a collection of hundreds of iconic shows and film titles. So just binge watch these and this is a really great resource if you want to study titles, best archive on the internet for the interviews with the artist, those who designed these sequences. And also another thing you can do is prepare an hypothetical idea or maybe think of an alternative title for the, for the show which you love. Try to think of an title sequence, how you're going to present this idea if you were in charge of designing a sequence for the intro and uh, just try to challenge yourself. Try to sketch it out and nobody's going to judge you at this moment. So you are basically uh, just learning and doing this for yourself. So feel free to ask me any questions if you have in the comment section. I will do my best to answer as many questions you have about this topic. 
and just make sure that while you're writing your question, you have all the necessary details well framed in the question so that it's easy to understand and it's well described so that I'm in a better state to understand your problem. So that's about it. And I'm pretty excited to share the first chapter with you. So tune in tomorrow, fingers crossed. Usually I'm known for uploading chapters late, but hopefully I will be on time this time and uh, let's keep, keep the fingers crossed. I'm working on the edit and I will see you guys uh, tomorrow with the first chapter and let's start preparing some ideas that we are going to work on. Alright, so stay tuned, subscribe, take care, bye bye.